Welcome to my first ever attempt at making a live video on my own. Sure, it would probably have been more efficient for me to film that whole and edit with nice cutaways and proper product shots, but let's be honest, it would have ended up with all of the other unedited footage on my external hard drive. And uh, also, to be honest, I haven't had the best week and I miss talking to you guys. So, a couple of weeks ago, I placed an order at Glossier. Glossier? Glossier. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. And with the help of my beautiful and amazing friend, Chloe, I just received it today. And here it is. So for those of you who may not know, Glossy is a fairly recent American skincare and makeup company. And for the moment, they only ship to the US and Puerto Rico. So I needed someone to help me with that order. Um, I had already placed an order with them earlier this year and I really liked the products I had received, which were their famous Milky Jelly Cleanser and by Brow. So this time, as you can see by the size of that dual package, I decided to order much more. So, yep, let's just dive into it. And let me check. Let me check my camera to make sure, yeah, everything is good. So, I want to do that as an unboxing, which might not be the best idea for a live video. But yeah, I don't know. I like I like unboxing things. And I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you know, to do something live, it was either you were going to see my face or you were going to see my package. So okay. Now we split in two. Yes, 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 yes. There's so much masking kit tape everywhere. Um, how are you guys doing? Oh, T's here. Hey, T. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, okay, sorry. If I'm, I'm looking at the chat, I'm not looking at my products. <laughs> and my box. And that's going to be unnecessarily long. Also, I'm not sure what time the small council starts their uh, episode two or three of Game of Thrones review. And so I want to try to make that super quick because I don't know, they could start in 30 minutes. So not that there's really 30 minutes worth of material of me opening a box. Although I know it could be, it could be a thing. Could be a thing watching people just open boxes, not even tell you what's in it. Like the moon moon box, that like Korean thing where you just watch girls eat food. You could just watch people open packages. Okay, okay, I think I think we're on the good track. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. First box Whew, open. So as you can see inside the box, you have that cute little quote, skin first, makeup second, smile always. Um, yeah, because that company's old ethos is about like, it's a lot of marketing. But I mean, still, those are nice products, but it's all about like very pure and simple skincare and makeup. They're by no stretch of the imagination organic or like really natural products, but they're supposed their marketing thing is saying that they are very simple and they are, yeah, they are very nice. Also, so as you can see, yeah, my, that's a precarious setup. So the package arrive in those beautiful little like plastic pouch. And in my first box, I also have some stickers that are nice touch, I guess. I'm not really quite sure how stickers fit with skincare, but okay. Um, uh, how should I do? Yeah, I should start opening that. So, in the first package, you're gonna see a lot more of those R2 bottles of 
I don't think I can do close-ups because I think I have asked my camera to not focus. Otherwise, it never focuses on my face. But so, okay. Ooh, a bottle of the Milky Jelly Cleanser. Um, I have actually ordered four of those, I think. Four of those. But the last one might be in the other package. Um, that's a product I have already tried. So I knew I liked it and I want to talk upon it because it goes by really fast. I think if you use it twice a day and like two pumps to clean your face every time, like I think it lasted like a month, maybe a month and a half. So because it's almost impossible for me to get hold of, um, I wanted to stock up on that. So it is a very nice face cleanser, does not remove makeup by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but good for a second cleanse, good for a morning cleanse. It does not foam, it's extremely gentle, and it's really good for my dehydrated skin. I have very dehydrated skin, and most cleansers will just like make it feel really stripped and tight and gross and disgusting. Usually, I will wash my face. So like in the morning or second cleanse in the evening with some kind of milk cleanser, like old school, because that does not hurt my face. Anything like more gel-like will usually strip my face. That is gel-like, that does not strip my face. I think it is around $17, so could be very expensive for you. It's around what I would put in a cleanser, so not on the most expensive Kill for me for cleansers. So I really like it and I want to stock up on it. Okay. Also, in that second little package, we have uh, another product I've already tried, which is now you're really not going to see anything. It's stupid. Why am I getting closer to camera? It's not going to change anything. Anyway, it's, I know you can't see things. It's shiny and, and, and it's now, yeah. Oh, like that. Maybe you can vaguely read that is boy brow, the boy brow, uh, which is um, a makeup product that is meant to keep your unruly eyebrows put together. I guess I have also already tried that. I really liked it. Uh, the one I have that is still working, still functional. I mean, I think I'm getting at the end of it, but it's still it's still working it, it was the untinted one which i really liked except because it is wax based if you go just a little bit overboard um like the product is white and if you put a little bit too much like you will end up with little like white like crumbs in your eyebrows by the end of the day which isn't the nicest look so i want to go for a tinted one this time and yeah i wasn't sure what to try i went for the black yeah, you can't see anything. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna improvise and try to put that on my brow. I even brought it on mirror. I, I'm a little scared because I am not, oh, yeah, I'm not the most precise person with my hands. And I've already had tinted eyebrow gels that would just end up like everywhere on my forehead and and yeah everywhere because but what's really nice with this one is that as you can see if you can see anything the wand is real not the one the brush is really really tiny so you can't really make too many mistakes but yeah you can see the product is black but it's like very lightly tinted so you shouldn't really like you shouldn't really be having problem with product getting everywhere and having big stains of eyebrow product on your face and the fact that it's black it should cancel out the like little white crumbs problems Ooh, that was long are you okay guys oh claire claire oh hey sweetie it's all the small council ladies watching my videos how are you doing um 
I'm going to try to stay concentrated. I don't know if I'll keep that video up afterwards. It depends. I'll have to check to see if that turns out okay. Um, so I need to put things back in their boxes. Otherwise, I'm going to lose everything. So last product in box number one is the stretch. I need to go back to my camera setting. Is the yeah, you're still not seeing anything. I, I was I working like that like that way. No, it's just not working. The stretch concealer, which is another one of our fairly old and fairly famous product, it is supposed to be a very lightweight, very hydrat hydrating concealer. I went for the shade zero, no ten light. Uh, usually, when in doubt for foundation and things, I go for the lightest shade. There are people with much lighter skin than mine, but I I really hate it when makeup product look uh, like darker than my skin tone. And usually on me, if it's slightly lighter, it looks refreshing. It takes ten years off my face. So little pot, and yeah, that looks like a regular pot concealer. So let's try that on my hand. Yeah, very like creamy, like but almost like milky under my finger. Um, yeah, very very lightweight as far as concealing. I mean, like coverage coverage is concerned. I'm gonna also try that under my eyes. Yeah, that's. That's pretty much today's face. I, I vaguely considered redoing my makeup before the video, but then it was like, uh, it's midnight. And I was tired because I went to see, an, uh, I, I went to the museum today. There was a late show when I just came back before filming that video. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, I, I was like, yeah, forget about that. Just, just slap some red lipstick on and they usually work. So I could use, some a little bit of coverage under my my eyes mm. well yeah i i cannot see the result in that terrible dim light that i'm filming on it does not look bad but it's actually thicker than what i was expecting given that everyone was saying how oh, that's like the lightest concealer ever and super light super creamy uh for reference what i am using is on, on my under eyes is something that is not even technically supposed to be a concealer it's by burn minerals and i think it's the stroke of light illuminating something um that can you know it's in their concealer section but it's not called concealer and that is very very light coverage which is what i like so I think, yeah, I mean, I think the color might be a little light for me, but given that it's, oh, that it's um, very light coverage, it should work. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Are you still there? Are you surviving? Hey, okay. OTDA, who's that? Anyway, hello, thank you for being here. Yes, it is a very, that part is a very skincare centric, maybe girl centric part of the video. Oh, uh, yo, if you're running out of Touche Clac Claire. So yeah, yeah, I should, should try that one. Maybe if you can get Bare Minerals in England, and I think it's, oh, it's David. Sorry, David, you're always changing your nickname. Hey, David, thank you for being here. That's sweet. Um, you know what? I'm going to do something horrible. I'm going to stand up in the middle of that video, go grab that concealer and come back because, yeah, so I can show you Claire. It wasn't too far away. So yeah, very similar from Touche Clash. Should be cheaper because you know YSL is obviously one of the most expensive makeup brand. Um, 
again, like really, really light coverage. It's not even supposed to be something that was designed to be a concealer. It's something that was designed to be an illuminator that we are using as a concealer, but there are mineral, God, I did not set up my camera for it to work properly. So, and everything, why is everything so shiny? Stroke of light, bare mineral, stroke of light, eye, eye brightener. Could you see that? Okay. So I like it because that is extremely dehydrated. I put anything that is, you know, I should, I, while I'm talking about concealer, I'm going to open the second box. So yeah, if I put anything that is deemed by normal people to be a real concealer with coverage, it's just going to like get super dry here. And obviously all of my not so fine lines are going to show up and the make and and then it feels like all the pigments just gather together and it looks dry and cakey and disgusting and gross so i'd rather have less coverage but you know something that doesn't look awful so second box still from glossier Ooh, everyone says they are low maintenance it's okay neither are we yeah, no, I'm very high maintenance, but not so much for skin care, I say. So we have a box, and inside that box, there is another box. No sticker in that one at the moment. And in that box, we have one more pouch. And, oh, maybe more stickers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously... More stickers uh, and some product information. And what seems to be just a little postcard. Okay, so that's the last, last part of my order, which is um, actually what I think they call their face set number one, which I mainly ordered for yet another milky jelly cleanser. So, yep, yep, yep. You know, I'm crazy. I ordered four of these bastards. Like, I'm really insane. And you know what my, my worst fear is that I tried it. I tried it once for a month and it was cool. I really liked it. But I'm pretty sure knowing how fucked up I am that now that I have four of those, like after a week, my skin's gonna start hating it and I'm gonna be stuck with three useless bottles of that face cleanser. Like it, does that ever happen to you? Like do you ever like soak up, stock up on a product and then totally not like it afterwards? Just, just let me know. Um, so their face set number one, it's the cleanser. Um, universal bomb. God, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to do something with the camera. Like do the thing where it's going to focus on the product, but then unfocus on my face. It's not a win-win. So if I do that, there you can wonderfully see the product. Maybe I should have done that from the start. So GlossierBone.com, that's what they call a skin solve. But it's pretty much just a, just a lip balm. I, um, you can choose their colored ones. Or I just went for the trend, like, see, colorless one. Yeah. Ooh. It's harder to get out of the package than I thought. Yeah. So, yeah, just basic petroleum. The product does not, does not smell like anything. Look at that pretty pink packaging. And also the Glossier Priming. Ooh, priming Moisturizer, which is just... A uh, very light cream, which I tried because uh, I think that was a sample that I had gotten uh, when I placed my first order. Yeah, same thing, like 
does not it's extremely lightweight oh god i'm gonna hope that focuses no i don't know i don't know i'm gonna be blurry for the rest of the video anyway very light moisturizer to be perfectly honest i ordered that because i think like it wasn't that much more expensive than just ordering one more face cleanser and concentrating on on my camera focus and um i wanted a face product for my gym bag and i am one of those crazy persons that would like to have things that are color coordinated so i had some already some some skincare in my gym bag that were like that had some pink on the packaging and like to me, it's really, really, really satisfying when there's a color theme in my skincare. Yes, yes, I am, I am, I am weird, and um, and yeah. So anyway, that's all for my glossier glossier order. So not that many things. Um, right after I placed the order, they I think they came out with. Um, uv god uh sun, sun sunscreen and that i wish i had ordered to try but i haven't so anyway so yeah anyway my order for face cleanser one lip balm one face cream for the gym bag and makeup wise uh by brow and a concealer and i think that order was around 150 dollars altogether so it's not cheap it's not super expensive but it's not a cheap brand either um so i will report back obviously i can already tell you that i like that uh for the reason I've, I've told you and i i like both of those products i will report back maybe eventually in one of those videos i never make on the rest of the products are you still okay um girls can you tell me what time the small council starts because I, I don't know if, if you're about to start i'm just gonna i i, I plan on talking to you about a, a few more things but if it's about to start I'll just call it a night. Are you gone? Oh, I know. I I also bought some office supplies. I don't know. Do you wanna? You want me to tell you about my office supplies? I'll just go ahead and do it. Oh, thank you, Iron Throne. So in thirty-three minutes. Okay, so yeah, quickly, Claire, I'm sure you want me to tell you about office supplies. Because I, I feel... Go, 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 go. Okay, so... I'll try to make that a quick story short. It's that time of the year. It's, it's, it's going to be... Yeah, no, I mean, I, I won't. it won't take me... Please, it won't take me 55 minutes to talk about, like some office supplies because I, I know i'm pretty insane but i really need to try to condense and make that snappy so that video has been all about me telling you that i'm a crazy person which you should already know like i have a lot of talk what's the word in english uh compels compulsions yeah um so one thing about i love having my skincare being color coordinated and the other thing is that i really 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 have a thing for stationery and especially planners like i think like one of the greatest battles of my life i've been trying to find the perfect planner like you know there are all those stories of girls they want to find the perfect husband like to me it's really easy to find it like i found the perfect husband like that like that was super easy that was no problem but finding the perfect planner i mean i still have not and i think it will haunt me 
until you know I'm on my deathbed, like finding exactly what works for me. So one one day, I don't know YouTube, the rabbit hole that is YouTube, started teasing me about videos about bullet journals, and yep. <laughs> yeah, the new rom-com, like Anne and the Perfect Calendar. I could totally be it. So, you know, it's that time of the month, uh, no, no, that time of the year when I'm like, and when I start thinking about a new calendar. And I can't design, Claire. <laughs> I can't design. So I start thinking about a new calendar, a new planner, because I am, although I'm almost 40, I'm still like 12 years old in my head, and I like my planners to start in September. I <laughs> I like my planners to start in September. It's really important for me. It's like to me it's the start of a new year. Also, I most years I like to buy tickets for plays and concerts in advance. So I usually buy them during the summer and they start in September. And I don't know, like to me it's really satisfying to be able to write like all little dates for your series of like events all in the same planner like it doesn't make any 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 give me any sense to me well anyway so bullet journals seem like a way for me to be able to design my own planner and um so yeah what i bought today were basically you start a kit to start a bullet journal which i have not started but i have things in my hand Okay, I'm switching back to my camera. Yeah, okay, so first thing to build a journal, you need a journal, like any notebook, except that it can be any notebook, like really, really any notebook would work to write down the calendar in it. Uh, but then I started going on a hunt for the perfect notebook. And okay, what I bought is the Nuna, planner in medium and I got the like that very very reflective thing which I totally didn't even choose for that is the fluid chrome I just wanted to try a Nuna and in the medium medium size and didn't have a lot of different um uh, exteriors in the store I went to but to me what was really important okay I'm going to try to open that. Ugh. I don't want to use, I do not want to use my my cutter because I'm afraid I'm going to damage it. But at the same time, like that plastic is, okay, yeah, good. We've got an, we've got an opening. Okay. So that is, that's, that's probably horrible for you. It's like so reflective. As you can see, you even have silver there on the side. But okay, the reason why after watching many, many, many reviews, oh, I can, it's reflect, I can see myself. Uh, why I wanted to try to buy a Nuna for that was for two reasons. Oh God, I don't want to start making a video about everything I learned about bullet journal before making a bullet journal. But basically there's, I need to switch back the camera setting again. up so i can zoom up. okay okay yeah as you can see on every page you have little dots like that which make it really easy for you to like it's not something obvious like big lines come back well yeah like big lines but at the same time uh it is really makes it really easy to divide a page whichever way you want. So to like create the lines for your calendar and also um, the paper quality in this one is supposed to be really good. Like the pages are really thick. So like if I start drawing like the, the little boxes for my month, it's not gonna bleed on the other side. So yeah, a journal that is empty. If um, so plan for a video that you will never see, but in six months, if I've done something with that, I will revisit it and make a real video about 
what is a bullet journal and how that works. But right now I haven't done anything and I'm, I, you know, I'm, I don't really don't want to get into that. So that was the main purchase, but also I got a few things. So I went to Muji and I got a little ruler. And also I got two other, like, uh, two other pens. They're like gel pens. You. Um, so I got, so two black, cause I don't really like colors. As you know, I got the 0 0.5 and 0 0.38 millimeter tip. Cause I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them, but I figured like, if I want to write like tiny, the tiny numbers for the calendar that I needed a pen with a small tip. Yeah. I bought more pens. I bought more pens. Uh, I, I saw a lot of recommendation on YouTube for Stadlers. Why am I, why am I trying to get every, anything to focus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, I, I feel like everything I bought is so shiny that it's never going to focus. So yes, I, Sadler fine pen. So those are, yep. So like more like, um, I don't know. I know you call that type of pen liner, more like liner. Anyway, the same kind of thing that you would use as an eyeliner. So I got this one and then the pigment liner is going to be really similar. It's really tiny in zero, zero five millimeters. Yeah. I figured with all of that, like if I couldn't draw a line straight, I don't know, like that was, I was pretty much doomed. Um, more unnecessary things that I bought. Very unnecessary. I bought that. Everything's silvery. That kind of silver pencil, which looks so cute. I, it just basically, yeah, draws silver. And I thought it would be like cute to make like little drawings. I don't even doodle. I can't draw anything. I don't know why I'm thinking about making drawings, but that it would be a color, but not a color. Gray being the best non-color color. Um, I also bought, because I saw that on YouTube, um, glue tape. Yep. Which is... Uh, a little device that I don't even know how you're supposed to use it, but switch open. Okay. I think it just, you just slide it on a piece of paper and it puts glue there. Let's try. Oh. Ah, oh, 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 no, I'm not doing that right away. I think I'm doing something wrong. How am I supposed to be doing it? No, I think it should be doing it this way. It's, I don't know, it's sticking to, it's sticking to the thing. I don't know, but there's glue on the paper. Seems to be somewhat working. Yeah, I don't know. I'll... I'll try later and report. I again, I saw girls using that to like stick little cute little pictures to their bullet journal, and I'm a sucker, and I bought that. And I, I think I'm even worse for the last thing I bought because that it's it says correction tape, but I'm really not even sure of what that is. Like let's let's find out together. But it was just like look at the little Japanese packaging that is so cute. I, I hope someone can understand. It's it's tiny and cute, and I needed that in my life. Oh, oh yes. Okay. No. Well, that's very basic. It's just um, Tipex bl blank like corrector. But I thought it was going to be smaller for some reason. The tip. But yeah, it's 
just the smallest, cutest little razor. And the it's, it's so cute, it's so tiny, it's so cute. Like, don't you want to have that in your life? <sighs> and yeah, that's me left with a lot of useless pieces of paper and I made a mess in the office. So that's all I had to show you. That is all I bought today, which is a crazy amount of things. I don't buy that many things. I'm so out of focus. Yeah, okay. I don't buy that many things every day, trust me. But I I I place that order like at the beginning of the month and, and today I I I've been on vacation this week and instead of enjoying my vacation, my brain has just been like <laughs> starting to go in on in overload on all the things I should be doing and like, oh, it's vacation. Now it's time to make your life and yourself perfect and everything work perfectly. But that's such a daunting task. And oh my God. And then I'm gonna lie in my bed instead. That kind of feeling. Maybe some of someone watching that video has felt that way one day in their life. So um uh, guys thank <laughs> thank you thank you uh claire and oh lt hey lt i don't know if you stayed there thank you claire and i think t yeah t's gone so anyway thank you guys uh for watching i would say do you have any questions to finish that video but i i don't think i don't think you would before I say goodbye, if you have any like Q and A questions, they're not Game of Thrones related because I am still not watching season seven of Game of Thrones. So, and I've been spending a lot of time under my comforter, so away from Twitter, and I don't even really. I haven't been spoiled, not that I'm trying to. What is in the cup? <laughs> um, that is instant false coffee. So like, it's not, oh my God, Shen would kill me. I know it's, uh, it's, not, it's not good tea. It's just like false coffee with false milk, like almond milk and... I mean, oat milk, actually, and I don't know what instead of coffee. I know I miss you too, LT. Thank you. I miss you too. And you know you can talk to me anytime. You know that. So anyway, yes. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know if I will leave that video up because, frankly, it wasn't really interesting. If you think anyone could be interested in that, Please let me know. Otherwise, I will probably put it on private. But thank you for being here with me. You really brightened up my my day because I was feeling pretty gloomy today. And I'm happy I got to talk to you for a little while. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I can't stop the broadcast. Bye.